everybody welcome back to another brand new video today we are headed out to the johnstown gallery mall johnstown pennsylvania there's a card show there today and also tomorrow with probably about 30 tables and uh usually find some good stuff here there's some dealers with some really good stuff so we're going to give you a little aerial view walking up to the card show so you can kind of see the setup here and then maybe if you'd like to go check it out you'll do so tomorrow but uh, I went in there with maybe about a couple hundred dollars worth of cash. I ended up spending $127 at the card show itself. And then there's also a baseball card slash collectible store right around the corner that I'm going to show you where I ended up spending over $1,000. So we'll show you all those coming up here in a second. So it's kind of hard to film and look through cards. So I'm just showing you what I picked up. I got a big stack of cards there. That was $100 right there. And we'll go through all of these cards individually at the end of this video. And this was the big find. 10 cent box with a whole bunch of first Bowman draft, first rounders in there, along with autos and a quarter box. This is the card store slash collectible store that I was referring to. It's called Rare Collectibles. They have a ton of baseball cards in there. I would say it's about half baseball cards. You see all these wax boxes there? Well, they've been sitting there for, it seems like a couple months. Last time I was there, there they were there, so. I ended up buying all of those. I'm going to show you me trying to wheel those out here in a second. But 814 uh, Card World in the back of the store. Here's their selection. they got a ton of great stuff. Lots of vintage. They've got lots of newer stuff. They've got autographs. They've got relics. They've got wax packs there. They've got blaster boxes. And Denny, the guy that runs it, is a really nice, awesome guy. He's going to cut you some prices. And uh, he likes to talk baseball cards as well. So stop in there if you're at the card show tomorrow. Make sure you go into 814 Card World. Look around and see what you can find. So I'm showing you just kind of their inventory here, taking a peek in their showcase. I ended up buying two cards here. I'll show you exactly what I bought here in a minute, but you can see those prices are pretty competitive. They got Wander Francos for under 10 bucks. They got a whole bunch of Vladdies there. You see there's a whole bunch of uh, wax on the wall. If you like to grab a pack or two or a blaster box or two, they've got you covered. And now here's all the wax box I picked up from Rare Collectibles. Oh, I don't know, maybe just under 80 boxes. Luckily, I brought my cart along and uh, they cut me a little deal, knocked off a couple dollars per box. And now the challenge is gonna be getting these out to my car. So I thought I was covered because I had this handy dandy cart. The only thing that would possibly trip me up would be going over the little door strips and so on and so forth. So I thought I was home free. I was even on FaceTime with Heather on my way out the door looking forward to dinner tonight. And then this happened. Yep, uh, we had a spill there. But anyway, we're gonna go through and check out all the cards that I picked up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Now let me show you everything that I bought at the card show. All right, everybody, I'm back from the card show. I've got two bags of cards. This is what I came away with from the card show itself. You probably also saw me pick up about almost 80 boxes worth of wax for just under $1,200. And uh, unfortunately, I had a little wipe out there, but I'm not going to bring those in here. I just had dinner at Heather's house, and now it's time to look through all the cards. And I cannot believe some of the great deals that I got today. So we'll start out with the bag here. These were, I think these were five dollars a piece or so they had a five dollar bin and all of these were just five bucks which i thought was a great deal so i was looking for parallel cards and uh, good rookies and stuff like that because you guys know that i'm into that kind of stuff so ken herbeck number out of 150 autograph i thought this was an amazing find to oscar hernandez rookie auto for five bucks jose barrios the ace of the Blue Jays rotation for five. Then we got Jesse Winker rookie card. It is a numbered rookie out of 250 from Topps Tech. And look at this, Fernando Tatis. Topps Holiday verse from 2019. Bowman had to grab that one. And only Paredes, that's a camo out of 25. Had to grab that one. Another Fernando Tatis Topps Holiday out of, hey, you want this? Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. We've got two of those. Timmy's got one. Put that in the collection. I'll have to show your collection one of these days. We've got Ronald Acuna Jr. Prism. That is the Gold Cup Prism. We've got the Refractor as well. We've got a Max Freed rookie card. This is the Mojo, 83 Mojo. A Shohei Otani rookie from Special Forces Stadium Club. Luis Robert, 
which you guys know I'm a huge Luis Robert fan. That's his pro debut. Randy Rosarana, Silver Pack Mojo. We've got a Shohei Otani rookie card. Another, you're welcome, another Shohei Otani rookie card. We've got a Pete Alonso out of 299 Black Border rookie card. I thought this was a nice find. Jose Urquidy out of 25 from Chrome. We've got Aaron Judge rookie. We've got Max Fried rookie from Inception, which is an awesome card. I can't wait for Inception to come out. It's coming soon. Juan Soto rookie card from Holiday for 5 bucks. I could not believe that was in there. A Dansby Swanson out of 99 green from Holiday. Another Shohei rookie card. That's a 20. I got two of these because it's the 2018 Diamond King portraits card and Aaron Judge 2017 rookie card all for $5 a piece. I thought that was a great deal. And actually, they were a little less than $5 a piece because the grand total there, I think, was $120. I offered him $100, and he said, sure. So those, those were actually more like $4 a piece or so. Next, we're getting into a whole bunch of good stuff here. I could not believe some of the deals that I found at this next seller. All right, first you're seeing these. These were from 814 Card World. By the way, if you haven't uh, already checked out 814 Card World, either in person or virtually, you should. They sell on the What Not app, and uh, they also have a YouTube channel, so check them out, 814 Card World. He's going to start posting content. I got a Nolan Ryan and a Fernando Tatis Jr., the pro debut. I love the pro debut cards, especially if it's from their rookie year. So some good stuff right there from 814 Card World. And then all of this. This whole stack here, these were only $7, approximately 70 cards. These were 10 cents a piece, and I couldn't believe it. These are all the great rookies, the first round, first Bowman rookies from the brand new, or the recently new 2021 Bowman draft. Marcelo Meyer, Jay Allen, Jordan Lawler, Maddox Bruns, there's Benny Bombs, Benny Montgomery, Chase Petty. Will Bednar, all first-round picks. Michael McGreevy, Sal Fralick. We've got Joe Mack, Maddox Bruns. Now, this one, I had to grab it because it was a numbered first out of $4.99 for $0.10. Cents. I mean, why would I pass on that? A couple more Jay Allens. Harry Ford, first-rounder for the Seattle Mariners. There's Michael McGreevy. And uh, mostly now, it's just going to be doubles, triples, quadruples. Frank Mazzucato. Was a nice one in there as well. Another Marcelo Meyer. I have to grab J-Rods whenever I see Julio Rodriguez. He's going to be appearing in the big leagues, I think, this year. There's uh, Elrod, Luis Rodriguez. Ty Madden, Gunnar Hogland, all first-round picks. So some of these guys are going to make it big in the big leagues. And uh, to be able to find a bunch of their first Bowman, basically, you know, rookie cards, Timmy. The first ever cards. It was pretty awesome to find all of these. So seven bucks for all of these, I thought was an absolute steal. And I even asked the guy who was selling them a second time, Jack, Jackson Job right there at the, at the back, but I asked him a second time. When I started to see some of the cards in this next stack, I was like, you said these are a quarter, right? All these sleeve ones are a quarter. He's like, yeah, quarter piece. So I got about 80 of them, which is about $20 for this, $20 for the stack right here, which is crazy. Wait until you see, there's, there's autographs in here. So now we get into the chrome, first rounder chromes, and also parallels as well, and refractors left and right. There's a Blaze Jordan out of $1.99 for $0.25. Cents. Luis Angel Acuna for a quarter. J-Rod Refractor for a quarter. Jordan Alvarez rookie card for a quarter. And then look at this. Like, what was this even doing in there? It's a Jake Cronenworth rookie auto for $0.25. Cents. Daniel Lynch. That is a gold. If you take a look at the back, it's out of 50. So a Daniel Lynch rookie auto for 25 cents. Victor Acosta for 50, not 50 cents, 25 cents. Dylan Carlson for 25 cents. Shirt and Apostle as well was in there for 25 cents. Out of 99, Albert Pools. I figured I'd grab it. He's going to be a Hall of Famer. It's out of 199, Harry Ford. Bruce Maxwell, not, uh, not a name anyone really cares about, but still it's an autograph for a quarter. Here's a pretty cool one. Adrian Gonzalez autograph for a quarter. I got some Andrew Vaughn's Garrett Crochet rookie auto for a quarter. Ozzy Albies numbered manufactured relic for a quarter. Had to grab that and then just a whole bunch more parallels. Here's Inception out of 75. Out of 400 of Eriberto Hernandez, those were 25 cents. JJ Bladé numbered out of 50. I couldn't believe it. So 
all in all, the grand total there was $27 at this guy's table. And uh, I was just like, I've got 70 here, 80 here. By my math, that's uh, that's 27 bucks. And he's like, yep, 27. And um, so I usually I would try to haggle a little bit. There's Jay Allen first, by the way, which is pretty freaking awesome. Jay Allen first and Chase Petty first. Those are both first round picks. And they're both paralleled out of 99. Crazy good stuff. This is a Frank Mazzucato. He's got his refractor right there. There's another Marcelo Meyer. Jordan Lawler. We got a Kyle Manzarato speckle. Wes Kath, who was a second round pick. There's his Lava out of 199. Max Meyer out of 199. Another great prospect. So I went prospecting and I came up big. That's out of 99. Christian Hernandez, Green Sparkle. Riley Green's going to be a big time bat in the big leagues. Just wait to see what he can do. Lots of power. There's Max Meyer and Steven Hazier. That one's out of 250. He was a second round pick. Ty Madden, Gunnar Hogland, Joe Mack. There's Jackson Job. So I could not believe I found all of this for 27 bucks. Another autograph. That's Alexander Canario out of 50. There's Torkelson, got a Spencer Swellenbach. First two of them, one out of 199. He was a second round pick for the Braves. So, I mean, why would I pass on any uh, anything like that? There's a nice Noel V. Marte. Jordan Lawler, Chase Petty, Maddox Bruns. There's Brady House and Benny Bomb. So I thought that was a pretty crazy find right there. And then, of course, I went over to 814 Card World and I found a bunch more stuff there. Um... You guys could, should check it out if you're ever at the Galleria. So the card show is going on tomorrow as well. So if you saw some stuff there, uh, I, I left a whole bunch of stuff behind. These two buys were just from, basically, all, this was from one seller. These were for 814, and then these were from another seller. So there's, there was probably, I would say, maybe like 15 different dealers there. They each had two or three tables a piece. Check them out in Galleria Mall in Johnstown, Pennsylvania tomorrow. Uh, that show is going on as well. So it's just today and tomorrow if you'd like to check it out. Also, make sure you go over to 814 Card World to go in that store and chat it up with Denny and check out his YouTube page. And uh, he always sort of has great deals there. He'll, he knocked off, um, I don't know, about uh, 15, 20% off of the couple cards that I bought there. And then he helped me buy all those other wax boxes from another seller that uh, has a whole bunch of baseball cards in there. So, Denny, thank you very much. I hope you guys will check out 814 Card World. I hope you guys will check out that card show tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you will tune in tomorrow to this channel. We'll be doing the Saturday Showdown. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, please do so. If you'd like to participate in the showdown, you can check us out on Patreon. It's $4.99 a month. There's a link in the description to it if you'd like to sign up on Patreon. We also have channel membership for a big auction coming up on Sunday night. So thanks, everybody. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Friday and a great weekend, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.